This is Chip Tune Chat, and I'm your host, James, aka Calm Down Kidder. Hope we're all having a pleasant evening, or a different time if you're watching it, not live. Um, yeah, so obviously last week was the Bandcamp Friday special, uh, popped off in the chat, it was nice to see everyone. Um, the only issue is the YouTube video, it's currently copyright strike, so kind of, we're trying to get that sorted out. That will hopefully be live on YouTube for you very soon. Um, but yeah, the artists involved have been very sound in uh, trying to get that sorted. So thank you very much. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get that sorted. I think you can watch it on Twitch. It's not been blocked on there. So if you do want to watch it again, watch it on Twitch. Um, or just wait for the YouTube one. That will hopefully be up soon. Um, not had loads of time to prep this week. 
Um, so yeah, we'll get into it. But I've been uh, trying to chase up some potential interviews for future episodes, so um, it's looking promising. Uh, um, but yeah, that'll be obviously a bit further down the line. But anyway, let's get on to some new releases. So um, yeah, this is by an artist called Macari Brauner, and this is an Atari tune called When We Were Young. we go that was a uh, Macari Brona when we were young and that was an Atari track yeah I think Atari's um, not been playing so many of them I'll have to try and up that there's a good little track there to start us off with uh, and then we've got Ray 8-bit who we've played on the show before this is um, their first SID track from 2016 um, this one's been a just a recent upload though so I thought I'd give this one a listen this is Sparkle Scanline Disco
There we go, that was the uh, Sid tune from Ray Apert, Sparkle Scanline Disco. Um, NE7 says that one, uh, Ray Apert makes some dead cool stuff. And then that's obviously a Go Tracker Ultimate in full force as well. And a uh, hi to Tinker, TNH. Uh, yeah, anybody who's new, hello, welcome. Please say hello in the chat, it's always nice to uh, see new names and that pop in. Um, and obviously old names as well, it's nice for anyone to join in. Um, yeah, it's in the UK, it's been absolutely boiling hot today. Um, don't know if it's been down south, but certainly here in lovely Liverpool, it's been, I mean, it's nice if you're out and, you know, going to pub garden or something, but when you're working from home and you don't have aircon, it's been a bit heavy. But, you know, we we march on, we move on. Right, um, <laughs> going all the way to Poland now. Um, we've got Leia. Uh, that might be pronounced, I'm not sure. Um, and this, I try. I, so last week I was playing a load of uh, Bandcamp Friday tracks, and I literally had two hours worth. And there were even some tracks I missed out on just because I was like, yeah, two hours is kind of like the maximum length, I think, for a show. Um, so we've got a few Bandcamp tracks here. Um, you can obviously still buy them at any time. But yeah, this is a Cold Friday Move On by Leia. Thank you. 
Uh, so that was Cold Friday, Move On by Leia. Um, yeah, really enjoyed that. Uh, so yeah, any seven. This has an almost gospel feel, nice and spacey. And then uh, Tinker says and a hint of jazz as well. Yeah, definitely agree with them. Um, it's got obviously chip tunes, very not easy, but it's like it's sort of it's a lot of people tend to make like you know banger type stuff. And obviously, I've got all the room for bangers in my life. Uh, but it's also nice when people are trying to do other stuff with, you know, chip tune uh, instrumentation and aesthetics in that. So, yeah, that's dead nice. Uh, it's good to uh, sort of have something a bit different for sure. So, um, yeah, nice one, Leia. Uh And so, going for a fast track, a two track now. This is Jarski, and uh, this is Pixelized. <laughs> son where'd you find this that was uh Jarski with pixelized uh for a little fast tracker tune for you there so um yeah people loving that one any seven says nice almost micro town start again nice almost micro tonal sounds very funky and uh hey scrum hello this is funky i like it uh and tinker tnh says yup mile head bobbing over here and uh any seven again super groovy yeah nice little track though wasn't it um enjoyed that one right yeah i don't actually have that many more songs um i'll need to uh get a few added in because this is going to be a speed run show otherwise um right i've got this one from soundcloud uh so this is yoan actually I'll, I'll give it a proper introduction then i'll start it it's my show, it's not your show. um this is yoan turpin and this is a. Uh, well, it's called SMHGP Super Merry Happy Game Plus. And we'll start it now.
There we go. That was a. Uh, oh. I always forget with a SoundCloud you've got to be a demon on that pause button. I uh, should probably find a setting to change that, really. Um, that was Johan Turpin with Super Merry Happy Game Plus. Um, yeah, that was a. Uh, I really like that, yeah. A bit almost like Yacht Rock chip tune, almost. I don't know, like Jazz Fusion. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know what you call it. Um, any 7 loving that one. Call this is lovely. And uh, bop into that one as well. Some said he is KB walking. What? What's KB? Sorry, I'm missing that acronym. Um, but yeah, enjoyed anyway. So yeah, that was a good little track there. So yeah, Johan Turpin, nice one. Um, oh, keyboard. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, some nice little keyboard walking. I get you. That. Now you say that, yeah. <laughs> Need to uh, be better on my acron acronyms there. Um, right, we've got... Uh, yeah, literally don't have that many more tracks. I've Again, I've not had loads of time to prepare this week, and today's just been absolutely toasty. Um, so, yeah, we'll get into it. So, yeah, this is another one that I was trying to play last week, but genuinely just had way too much uh, tracks already. This is uh, Chris M and Fenris. Uh, this is from their latest EP, Wireless Hill. And this is a A E B R. Thank you. 
ago. That was um, AEBR by Chris M. and Fenris from their EP Wireless Hill, which is available on Bandcamp. Uh, yeah, that was great. Like, sort of, again, a bit different. It's very IDM. Um, bit of breaks in there as well, because who uh, doesn't love a break? And uh, any seven says, could imagine this as background music for a Wes Anderson movie. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel like a Wes Anderson chip tune movie is way overdue. You need to stop doing his Wes Anderson Americana style and get, it, get him directing a video game. That would be sick, actually. I'd be, I'd be into that. Um, right, we'll go on to the next segment of the show. Shows. So, um, again, as well as this show and, uh, you know, putting on chip tune shows myself, I also run the chip tune shows account. So this is an account on multiple social media sites. It's on Twitter or X. It's on Instagram. Um, it's on Tumblr. Um, I've set up a Facebook page for it now. So they all kind of sync. I've got to post separately on Twitter because Elon's a tit. Um, but yeah, they're all on there. So you've got if you've got any upcoming shows yourself, um, even if you're just playing, you know, by yourself, you're not like it's not like a chip a fully chip tune show or whatever. Just get in touch, you know, send me the poster, send me the blurb, send me the info, and I'll get it posted. So it's always good to have somewhere central for people to be like, this is a chip tune show near me. I'm going to try and go. So, yeah, chip tune shows. Follow it if you're on social media. No, or don't, it's up to you. Right, so uh, this is one I've heard about today. Uh, it might have been yesterday, actually. So this is Finland, um, Tampa, 8 bit underground in Tampa, Finland. That's on the uh, 18th of August. We've got Harley Likes Music, we've got Llama, we've got Kef, uh, and way more as well. So yeah, if you're over in Finland, um, yeah, go and see that. Uh, you know, I've seen Harley a few times, it's always a treat, seeing Kef. I think I've seen Kef. I think I've seen Kef. I've listened to Kef anyway. If I've, yeah, I've seen Kef. Um, but yeah, that'll be a great show. Uh, love to go over here one day. So yeah, Finland, if you're about, hello. Go and see that show. Also, if you're over in America, in uh, Pennsylvania, uh, in Ardmore, Sloopy Goop is playing a set among some bands. So yeah, that's again, just a single chip tune act, but you know, go and support if you're nearby, Ardmore. That's on August the 12th, which is sat this Saturday. So yeah, go and see that. Um, also, a burlesque slash chip tune night uh, in Boston. Uh, no, Massachusetts. Uh, sorry. Uh, Show me your bits, and that includes music by Minus World, Battle Mode, and Sam Mulligan. That's on the thirteenth of August. Um, so again, but just FYI, show promoters, put put the city where your show is, because you know, I know where the Crystal Ball Room is. People might not know, but they might see this online and go, oh, I might want to go to that. Put the city in your poster. You put the year. That's good. I also moan about that. Put the year in your poster. See so many posters. Don't put the year in. Do that. Put the city. Put the poster. Put put the city in the poster. Put the year in the poster. And uh, obviously all the other details are there in the poster. That's good. That's fine. Right, um, so, um, the 18th, uh, the 19th of August, ah, there we go, Hey Scram has just confirmed, that's in Somerville, Massachusetts, so there you go, Somerville, Massachusetts crew, go to that, and to the show promoter, put the city in next time, uh, um, I think this is another one where they haven't put the city in, but the venue's got the, uh, name anyway, so this is Pack Noise, uh, Wavfest on the... 19th of August, let the WAV carry you away. Featuring, uh, you can see there, a load of back, Starfighter Dreams, Wi Fi Cell Phone Kids, Info Drive, uh, and a load of local acts too. And that's in Substation in Seattle. Um, so, yeah, that's next, not the upcoming, this cup, upcoming Saturday, the next Saturday, the 19th of August. And uh, yeah, that'll set you back 20 bucks, and it's 21 plus only. So, uh, sorry kids, get out of here. Um, right, uh, that's already happened. I think these have already happened. Ah, oh, no. Uh, if you're in France, this show's in Lyon 
on uh, the 19th of August. So we got Rainbow Trash, Bobby Snack, Cyanide Dancing, amongst others. That's like a sort of circuit bending slash chip tune slash algorave type of show. So I'm um, all very noisy and pixely and be an absolute treat for the eyes and ears. But do bring your earplugs because we don't want tinnitus. So yeah, uh, if you're in Lyon, France, go over there. That'll be an absolute treat, I'm sure. And uh, who doesn't love a poster with a dog on? Um, and in September, the 16th of September, if you're in... Um, oh, where does this get it? Singapore. Um, this is Tech Revolt from Binary Presents. And you've got a load of acts there, as you can see. Nemesis, Plastic Bones, Sludge Feast, Snoop Troop, Microtrip Terror. The list goes on. And uh, yeah, that's an early one, 530 and that's on a yeah, Saturday, the 16th of September. So yeah, if you're in a shout out to the Singapore crew, I've not played nearly enough Singapore tunes. Don't know if I played any. I'll make sure to do that next week. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, shout out to the Singapore crew. And I think that might be it. Data fruits once happened. Ah, there we go. Uh, Sheffield, UK. This is Steel City Chip Tune. Uh, and that's going to be Saturday the 26th of August over in Meltdown. And you can see there we've got Chipsil, we've got Rainbow Trash, we've got Infotoxin, we've got Skyblaze, and we've got Visuals from Bobby Snacks as well. Uh, I will be at that show. I've bought a ticket, booked somewhere to stay. Uh, so I will absolutely be there. Um, if you are around, say hello. Um, if you're not, you can watch it on twitch.tv slash Steel City Chip Tune. Um, give them a follow if you're not already. Um, some free Chip Tune for your ears if you can watch from home. And uh, I'll try and mug for the camera on stream at some point. And that might be actually it. Uh, that one's happened. Uh, I think that's it, yeah. Oh no, sorry. Um, so in September, that's next month, people. So get your tickets. Um, the mighty 65 Days of Static are playing their Wild Light album uh, for the 10 year anniversary tour. In, um, and more importantly, supporting is none other than Chipsel. She's going to be performing on all the UK dates on that tour. So that's Glasgow, Manchester, London, Bristol and Brighton. Um, I have got my tickets for that. I will be at the Manchester show. It's in the New Century Hall. Uh, it's a lovely building. Uh, it's genuinely worth going just for that venue. Um, but yeah, Chips will support on 65 Days of Static. Um, what a top lineup. That'll be a great show. So yeah, if you're in the UK and you can go to one of those, absolutely go to that. Uh, I've not seen 65 Days of Static, but I've enjoyed what I listened to, so I'm sure that'll be a wonderful show. They've been doing bits for a while, so I think they know what they're doing. And obviously, you know you know how good Chipsil is. If you don't, then listen to Chipsil. Um, and I think there's one more quite further down. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Uh, so yeah, uh, September again, the 2nd of September in Koblenz, Germany. We've got 8-Bit Breakdown. Uh, and that's got 2AA is playing, Rainbow Trash is playing, Frono Krig is playing, Popsicle Theory and Havoc are all playing music. And then we've got VJ's Flopping, Bobby Snacks, She Glitcher and Nerd Disco as well. Uh, and that's it. It's a 10 buck, 10 buck show. What a bargain. That's a bargain. 10 euros. Get down to Koblenz, Germany uh, for that one. And that's on the 2nd of September. Nice one. Um, I think, yeah, that's pretty much it for upcoming shows. Um, once again, if you are, you know, a musician, you play in a show, if you're a promoter, you're putting on a show, um, even if you're just like the only chip tune in a shack, that's absolutely fine. Send me the info and I will post it up on here. Try and spread the word a little bit. And, uh, you know, if you're not following the pages already, please do follow them. I feel like it's useful to, you know, get a centralized bit of uh, info about that. Um, and if there's another sort of one um, it's kind of almost the opposite of chip tune um, but I'll just post that now so these are upcoming shows of sorts 
So this is the Som Sonic Symphony World Tour. So rather than, you know, original music from old games consoles, this is old game consoles music uh, with an orchestra. So sort of the opposite of chip tune, but you know, um, you might like it. Uh, you know, Sonic certainly has some bangers in their soundtrack. So um, yeah, so they're playing everywhere. Like they're playing London, which is already sold out. Playing Paris, Los Angeles. They're playing Sao Paulo in Brazil. Boston, Chicago, Dusseldorf, Germany. Uh, so yeah, all over the place. Tokyo, Toronto, Montreal, Portland. So yeah, America, Europe, Canada. Uh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, you can see there a full orchestra. I've never been to those one of those type of shows before. I don't know if anybody here has in the chat. Um, let me know your experience if you have. Um, it sounds, you know, obviously if you like Sonic music, which you know there's plenty of bangers in the Sonic canon, then uh, I'm sure it's going to sound fully sick with an orchestra. Is it like I don't know? Did they play like the chip tune with it, or is it just the orchestra? I mean, I guess different shows might do different things. Uh, NE7 said he's been to some like Commodore C64 ones and he had an absolute boss time. Uh, they were Fabo in capital letters, so you know it was good. Um, so, yeah, like they do sound interesting again. I've never been to one. Um, it'd be good to know if it was like, you know, the chip tune with the orchestra or just the orchestra. I mean, either or be cool, but I don't know. I just feel like hearing the orchestra, hearing the chip tune with the orchestra, that sounds absolutely magnificent. Um, so yeah, and if anybody, any musicians out there want to be making some chip tune and orchestral stuff, then always get in touch. <laughs> if you've got that on the go, always get in touch. So yeah, Sonic Symphony Tour. There we go. I'll paste that URL in the chat. Um, so there we go. So yeah, from the classic 8-bit and 16-bit tunes to rock and EDM songs. So I guess it just sounds like a whole, you know, every bit of Sonic. Oh, there's a little video. Ooh. We'll put the video on. Let's put the video on as a little treat. So this is the uh, video for the Sonic Symphony World Tour. we go so yeah that's uh, the Sonic Symphony tour I mean I'm not getting paid for this by the way but if you are from Sega and you're listening I'll take some free tickets to that London show even though it's sold out um, yeah so there you go if you want to listen to a bit of that and uh, so yeah Tiny Meows has said she's been to Zelda Symphony a couple of times but fell asleep so don't know if that's good praise or not uh, maybe it was that relaxing you just you know had a little kip so that could be that, that's a plus point isn't it Hopefully it was relaxing rather than boring, but I don't know. And uh, NE7 says, yeah, the 8-Bit Symphony folks do a lovely job with their shows. Lovely arrangements. Uh, C64 mainly. So yeah, there you go. It's, it's something different, isn't it? Um, just, you know, dress up nice for it. Don't, if you're going, don't go in like your, you know, your sweaty Zelda t-shirt. You know, put on a nice bit of clothes and that. Uh, orchestra. Have some respect. <laughs> nah, wear what you like. I don't care. Um, <laughs> right, uh, I've only got two more tracks for you, so um, I'll go back to that upcoming show in Finland, um, so yeah, that's Tampa 8-Bit Underground, and uh, Harley Likes Music is playing over from the UK, and then he's playing that show in Sheffield, oh no, he's not playing that show in Sheffield in September, he's putting on the show in Sheffield in September, um, but you know, he might pop on stage for a few tracks at some point. So, bearing that in mind, uh, the next track is going to be from Harley Likes Music, and it's one of the old times, it's Get The Bleach.
bleach. Damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> Son, where'd you find this? Um, yeah, always a classic. Uh, it's definitely like an old-timer LSTJ banger, that one. Get the Bleach by Harley Likes Music, who's playing in Finland soon. So, yeah, go over to that one. 
Right, um, I do actually have a bit of tech news. Uh, I thought I didn't, but then I realised something. So, um, a few uh, weeks ago, I posted about um, Alexei Eben, who made like um, an Atari 2600 sound slightly better than it does by default. And he's then made a... So, it's a Starbars Atari 2600 music editor. Um, so, yeah, just uh, we'll read this little bit of blurb here. So Starbars is a music sequencer and play routine for Atari 2600 video game consoles from the late 70s. It runs on a Commodore 64 and exports both PAL and NTSC Atari 2600 ROM images containing your music and the music player code. So it uses Titanic tuning to achieve uh, eight times improved frequency resolution over the TIA chip uh, as normal. And uh, you can play the full chromatic scale over six octaves. So no more out of tune Atari stuff. So um, yeah, if you are into your Atari 2600 stuff, then that's very exciting development. And uh, there is a little demo track. So let me get that up. So um, this is, uh, yeah, Tai Tycoon Starbars Demo by Tempest slash Extend. Yeah, there we go. That's the um, Starbars Atari 2600 music editor. I mean, uh, NE7 says it best. Amazing hearing this out of 2600. Like, um, 
there's obviously never been that much of an Atari 2600 chip tune scene because it kind of mostly sounded ass. But uh, <laughs> um, this might be a game changer for that. So I don't know if you're interested in doing some Atari 2600 music, then absolutely give that a download. Um, I can't see like an official website for it at the moment. Um, there's links on that Twitter. There's like a dr Dropbox download and manual on there. Hopefully, um, puts it in a um, yeah, on a web proper website and that'd be good to share that out. But obviously, I've shared it in the chat and I'll share it on the uh, video and demand and that as well. So yeah, nice one to Alexei Eben. Well done, GG. And um, yeah, we've only got one more track today from the vault. So um, speaking of C-Trix, um, this is going to be a C-Trix track. So it's the uh, ever iconic Horses remix, um, possibly one of my favorites of all time. Um, if you've ever been to a C-Trix show, chances are he's played this one live. Um, I don't think he plays it 100% of the time, but you know, if not 100%, then certainly 99% of the time he does. So um, yeah. This will be the last track of the show, and I'll say a little goodbye. So, yeah, uh, give it up for C Tricks with the Horses Remix Live from 2009. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
There you go. Um, always a treat to watch that. I honestly watched that video way too many times. It's not healthy. Um, and yeah, that track has been like any worm for me like permanently since it's come out. It's just, yeah, it's great. Um, and in the chat, yeah, just talking about the CRT telly as well. Saying so 2009, I guess like you did have flat screen tellies at that point. Um, but um, I guess the image quality probably just wasn't quite good enough at that point, maybe. I mean, it's a, a tracker screen, so you just need to see. Cause you're not like triggering anything live, are you? Uh, but I don't know. But nice to see a CRT telly on the uh, monitors <laughs> on the uh, musician table as well. Um, I think I think I've had to do that once or twice, maybe um, in previous shows. But luckily, it's never been that much of an issue nowadays. Um, and any seven also says yeah, C tricks doesn't age. Literally looks the same here. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. He was in London the other week, so any seven got to say hello to him and that, and he played a show. So um, yeah, C tricks, come back to the UK. Get in touch with me if you are. Uh, we'll try and sort something out for sure. Um, right, that's been that's been it today. Really, um, I've got nothing else for you. Um, so yeah, hopefully get some interviews sorted uh, soon. I'll be off to Sheffield and I'm going to try and get some there maybe. Um, but obviously, yeah, just it'll also be the show on a weekly basis. Um, let's uh, see who's quickly online for a quick raid. Um, can't see anyone chip tuny, so I guess we'll do duck racing. Who doesn't like duck racing? Right, um, that is it from me. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, I'll do a little quick shout out uh, as well as the name of the show, Chip Tune Chat, is also the domain. Um, so if you go to Chip Tune Chat, uh, you'll get this calm down kid a link tree. Um, so yeah, if you want to contact me, you click on there and put in a bit of info. Then you can contact me. Uh, so yeah, email me your releases, email me your shows, email me to say hello. Um, yeah. So and then also just put some info about Chip Tune Chat. It's a link to the Twitch. You probably don't need that if you're watching it right now. But uh, there's a YouTube video playlist and a Spotify playlist of all the tracks as well. Um, yeah. If you're on any social medias as well, give us a follow: Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, etc. And Chip Tune Shows, links to all them are there as well. Um, the Chip Tune Shows, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr. There is Fred's, but Fred's is kind of, um, yeah, it, it can't sync up at the moment, so I'm just, I'm, I'm leaving it at this point in time. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, but also if you want to support me as well, you can do. There's a few options there, various specialists and affiliate links and that. Um, but yeah, that is genuinely it from me. Thank you. Is Glitchcraft on now? Um, issue is are oh, they? Sorry, um, I can't see them. I can't see them. But I don't think they are. Right. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna raid Duck Racing, uh, and I will see you next week. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>